Recently, I imported some data into Excel. Some of the entries look similar to this. There was random spacing in the names. With rows and rows of entries, it's unimaginable to go through and delete all those spaces manually. So how could I quickly delete the extra spaces with minimal effort? By using Excel's trim function. The trim function will remove all spaces from text except for single spaces between words. If we take a look at this column of names, we see that we have some leading spaces, spaces between the names, and possibly some trailing spaces. In cell B2, I'm going to enter the formula equal trim A2. And I can see it removed the extra space. So now what I want to do is I want to copy this formula using copy and paste, or I can use the fill handle to automatically copy down to the last cell with data. So I think I'm going to use the auto fill because that's going to be a little quicker. So I'm going to select cell B2. I'm going to hover my mouse over the fill handle. That's that little black square in the lower right hand corner. I get a fat plus sign and I'm going to double click. And what that does is it copies the formula down to the last cell that has data in it. Okay, so now we have a column with names and the spaces are removed. It looks much cleaner. But this corrected column is a formula. So what if I want to get rid of this original column that's kind of screwed up? If I do that, now I have a reference error because my original data that the formula is pointing to is gone. So how can I work around this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the trim data in column B and then paste it as values only. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this data, control C to copy. And then I'm going to come over here in C2, right click, and I'm going to choose values. So now when we look at the cell, when I look up at my formula bar, it's no longer a formula. I can go back into B2, I see that's a formula, but when I copy values, it simply does that, it copies the values. So now I can actually get rid of columns A and B, and I'm left with my cleaned up data. Believe it or not, in my years as an IT trainer, I have seen multiple people manually go through all their entries and delete those spaces. Imagine if you had hundreds of rows of data that needed cleaning up. This actually happens a lot of times when you import data from another source. But you just learned how to quickly clean that data up. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And make sure you check out my other videos. I'll see you in those.